It is a part of the human condition that no one really wants to talk about. Luckily, there are those who do talk about death and how to keep quality of life as high as possible. And palliative care specialist Larry Skensel joins me this morning from Gunderson Health System with a focus on hospice care. And Dr. Skensel, I guess what's the hardest part of uh, switching that conversation from treatment options to uh, preparing for the inevitable? Well, first of all, there's always more treatment that can be done. We always have to remember, uh, Dustin, that uh, there are all sorts of ways that we can help you live as long as possible and as well as possible, even when you have a life-limiting illness. So hospice is really then focusing on those who've uh, made that choice, I guess, uh, to uh, maybe take, a, take the treatments, uh, see the end of the treatments, and, and really focus on comfort. Right. So we're working hard on symptom management, making sure pain and shortness of breath are well controlled, that you have support for your family, and making sure that, you're, that there's other things to hope for, that we're human beings always need hope. So a team of people coming to the place that you live to make sure that we're working on all those areas to make life as, well, as good as it could possibly could be. Yeah, and what kind of patient do you see typically uh, uh, to uh, enter hospice care? Yeah, so sometimes it's someone who has cancer, but we also see a lot of people with emphysema, with heart failure, and then with Alzheimer's uh, dementia we, uh, and Parkinson's disease. We work with all those people. And for those who are, I guess, maybe on the cusp of considering whether it's time to uh, think of something, what sort of advice do you offer to them and really their families? That never give up hope that, you know, we're here to be fierce and to fight fiercely for whatever goals you have and also um, to be compassionate in that same time. Over and over again, what I hear from people is, now that I kind of know what the program is, I sure wish we would have known about it earlier, that um, we should have signed up months ago. So I think that's a, a sign that sometimes by pushing it away and not at least getting more information, uh, people miss out on a really important time in their life. Yeah, and uh, just real quick, we are running out of time. Is, is this available uh, throughout the region or is this something that's kind of specialized in lacrosse? No, that's available throughout the re region. Okay, at all regional uh, Gunderson providers. And uh, Dr. Skenzel, we thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you, Dustin. Uh, coming up on 10 minutes now before 7 o'clock, we'll be right back with a check of your bus stop forecast next.